The importation of Negro slaves to China under the Tang Dynasty, A.D. 618 to 901. Many people do not know the Chinese had Negro slaves or African slaves. They got them from the Arabs. Because we're not taught about the Eastern African slave trade, we don't know this main fact. Also during the time 618 and 901, it was a time when Islam took over Arabia. The term used to designate Negro slaves under the Tang Dynasty. Neither the name of Africa nor Negro slave is known in China during the period of the Tang Dynasty. But we often occur the term Kungalun or Kungalun slave in a collection of Tang authors that come apart following the Tang Shu collection of reprints, Tang Sha Kang and Tang Ping Kan Chi and Chang Kuching Shalaha, a tech. These works generally describe Kung as black skinned folks. There are four said authors even used the term Kuling adjectively as a synonym for black or dark skin. Other words as an equivalent for Negro. What then is the meaning of Kuling or who were the Kuling knew? The Dosan line in the above question, let's take a, a certain account of ancient Chinese works that has to say on this subject. Lin Kui Kao Chang, the property of the land of Ling, contained in Book 197 of the Chang Tao Shu, Old Dynastic History of the Tang, say, People in the south of the Ling have woolly hair and black skin, and commonly known as Kunlun. In the Chala Kunlun Kao, the topography of the land of Chaling contains the same volume we found in the following. Chaling is situated northwest of Ling Wei, and is formerly a dependency of Fu Fan. Nine. It's a habits belong to the race of the Kunalun. Part 2 of, of Book 22 two of the Hang Kang Shu, his, his historic dynasty of Tang, we read Pai Ping is situated on the Gulf of Han Hei. To the north, is separated by Han Wei by straits containing the Ling Shu. The subject of the tribe are the Pi Nu Kling Kao and the Kundalun, the Tagi, and the Kundalun Bu Ho, and the Kundalun Buddhistan. The tribe last mentioned is also known as the Kunlu, which is finally akin to the Kunlu. Another part of the same version, same volume, it says, Funan is situated a distance of 70 li, about 25 English miles to the south of Jan Han. The country is low and the climate is moist. The people have similar folks of the Hangwa. In this land, the wall towns and palaces, its king, whose name is Kunlu, lives in a two story structure building upon raised terrace. The roof is attached with leaves. When the king goes abroad, he rides on an elephant, and the inhabitants have black skin and woolly hair, and they go about naked. Back from the King Hao and the Hang Shi, there's a note that following effect. A numbering in the order of the west to the east, the succession of islands is follow. Polo Shin, Mo Lo Yi, the kingdom of Shir Li Fu Yi, Mo Ho Hasen, Ho Ling, Tan Tan, Pan Pan, Po Ling, Chen Ling, Fu Yi Pu Lo, Ashan, Mo Chika Man, and a number amount of small islands. In the proper check and notes we offer, we read, all these islanders are Buddhists. The majority belong to the Hainan sect, with a section of fewer hearing of the Mahayan sect who live on the island of Mo Lu Yu. As the size of these countries, some are a hundred li, others are several hundred li, some are, have several hundred horse stations in circumference. <clears throat> It is not easy to estimate the distance at sea, yet we still rely on the data furnished by the mariners of the ones of these that reach Tolkien and Canton to give Chan Li the name of the Kunlun. The inhabitants therefore have woolly hair and black skin, but the inhabitants of the other islands are like the Chinese, except when they go about barefooted and wearing the kind of clothing called a kaman. French genealogist Chavez believes that Chang Lu, Yang Qing, is the same in the land of Yang Lin Hui and Chan La, in the Chang Shu dynasty of historic Tang, mainly modern Siam and the Malayan Peninsula. But this is highly a tenable view of the fact that the Chang Ling is directly criticized by Yang Chi of the island. He also affirmed at the time that Chang Ling visited the habit of the island were Negroes. In the Chang Ling, he, you, she, and Fo Ka, and Shen Shang, Chang Ling biographies of famous monks of the Tang dynasty who went to the west in the search of the law. The following statement occurs. When he reached the land of Fu Yi, Sabar, he learns the Kung Lung language and devotes time to studying Sanskrit. Kung Lung is the same as the Kung Lung in the land of Fu Ya in the region of the Paramount and the Sumatra. From this, it happens that the Kung Lung language was by no means confined to Prokhoda. In the Manchu, a book about Bavarians, volume 6, we have the following. 
The river Lang Shu flows southwest to join the liver lung. From the south, it skirts to the highway, which goes through the Qingming Mountains and continues southward until it reaches the land of Kunlun. In the geographical sections of the Chu Tang Shu, mentioned in the district Haxing, called Ling Shu in the country Chao of Ling, in the same volume we read further. In the town of Wen Yung, Fun Yi, Lin Yung, there are about 100 salt wells, 10 tribes including the Manting Tao and the Hai Chi, Black Teeth, inhabit the region in question. Fun is located of a journey 10 days bringing the traveler to Yanxin Terrace. It's about 30 days journey downstream to the land of Min Chin Chin. Following one reaches the sea and across the three day voyage to the land of Kundalun. In volume X, the same word we find as the following passages. In the northern land of Kundalun, it's about 80 days journey from the Hishir River in the land of man, i.e., of the barbarians. The countries are bound in ebony, sandwood, spice, lace wares, crystals, medicinal herbs, and precious stones, rhinos, etc. Once upon a time, the barbarians invaded this land on the figure that a famed retreat of the natives who cut off their return by digging a moat which was filled with water. As a result, most of the barbarians started starvation before permitting those to survive to leave. The natives amputated their left arms, forearms as a warning. In the Wu-Tang Ten, Shuri Kulan, the record of the travels of the five Indies by Hu Chu, the following statement occurs. To reach India and Kowloon, must by go the way of the Garahara. In a section of the same works which the Treaty of Persia is states, voyages from the Western Seas to the Southern Seas are frequently made for the purpose of precious merchandise from Serlang and gold from Kowloon. There are even sales as far as Canton to secure silks and other textiles. In Book of the Shunxing Dynasty of the, of the Historic Shung, contains Shen Po Q, Quan, Topography of the Land of Chi Po, which is the following passage. It is a month journey from the eastern frontier sea and from the sea the voyage of a fortnight to reach the land of Kunlun. The voyage is a west of 45 days, then south for three days, and along the coast for five more brings the travel to Arabia. Hence, according to the data contained in the works of the Tang, 86, 18 to 907, and the Sung, 86, 89, 60 to 1230 dynasties, it will appear the land of Kunlun is identified with the modern Siam. These works, however, are described by the inhabitants as woolly haired inhabitants and black skin. Nor do they describe them being ugly or making them use of the term of the Kundalu. The best Chinese scholars have become interested in the question which Yi Qi Yu, who lived in the early part of the Chang or the Manchurian dynasty, AD 1644 to 1911. The commentary of the Chang Shu contained in a book of the Tingxing Chao. Kalu Ling Ping Shu advantages and the drawbacks of the various parts of the empire. He states that the inhabitants are Chang La are black in color and known as Kunlun. They are in the Kundalun of the Tang Dynasty. The next writer deals with the problem with the Han Shu who flourished in the time of the Tao Kang period, AD 1821 to 1850. In the second volume of the Han Hao Chang Lo, the outline of geography, where he treats the South Silence Islands, he remarks, to the south of the Chang Lo Ying, the seven the oceans of the seven isles, there are a peak of unequal magnitude to reach above the dancing waves. This region is known as Kunlun or Kuntu, Marco Polo's Condor. Here converge the sea routes of all the of the southern oceans, and it's also for of a mountain peak which are covered with beautiful trees, juicy fruits, and placed in the lonely only inhabitants of immortal dragons. Another part of the same work, another author linked to the already quoted works of Ken Yu, Ken Yu Wu, as the majority of the hamlets of the South Sea Islands are black. Not only are there Chen Ling who are black, but there are others who are even blacker. The Kunlun were the two peaks of the small islands in the South Seas were only dragons and no human beings dwell. Those situated in the Chenna and therefore dependent of therefore why the terms Kundalun and Chanlun used to designate black people? It's because ships passed through Kundalun on a voyage to and from the South Seas, and hence the name is familiar to mariners who naturally extend their designation to know all savages of the South Seas. This way, the name came to signify black people in general. The anonymous use of Chang La is the use of the fact that this country was very powerful during the Tang dynasties, having subjugated various tribes of the South, Islanders, South Sea Islanders. And note, the same author further says, the Shang-Chi, the historic dynasty of the Shang, 
tell us that the Persian envoys to China were accompanied by attendants who had sunken eyes, black skin, and who were called Kundalu Nu. And the evidence that these black Persian slaves were Hindus. Thus, it appeared that Kundalu here was designated from the Kundalu of the West. It is in my personal opinion that Fang Ching, a writer of the early Ming Dynasty, was responsible for the corruption that changed Kundalu Tan Shan, color or polo Kundal, into Kundalu. In his Haishi Shangri-La description of the beautiful islands, he says the mountain rise very high in the midst of the sea and form as in triangles where the Chang'e and the islands are due. The mountain is lofty, rectangular, mountain is lofty and rectangular eminence in large area. The, la, the surrounding sea is known as Kundalu Ocean. Trading vessels are bound for the Western Sea past the point of the voyage of seven days, providing the winds are favorable. According to Western scholars of modern times, Kundalu is the largest group of islands and the length of about 12 English miles. The group of the other islands in two being in shape about three English miles in length and about six small islands besides. The modern name of this large island is Puno Condor. It's an excellent harbor, fresh waters, and a luxury of vegetation, and it happens to number about 800 are the Chunking Chinese stock. The islands under French control of the authorities of Saigon is served that these small islands can supply such a numerous number of blacks to so many lands, both east and west during the Tang Dynasty. The notion, too, that the Kungulan slaves of the Chan Li were equally groundless for the people of Chan Li being the, the Malaysian race had the same complexion as the Chinese and the Amorites. The suggestion that the Kungulan came to designate black men in general because all ships passed through Kungulan Islands on a voyage to and from the South Seas is nothing more than conjecture. But the other hand, we have no reason to suppose that the Kungulan slaves derived their name from Kungulan Shan of the West, for the latter has been seen from the Chinese form. In the earliest times, no Chinese work ever described inhabitants as black skin, and as so much as a clear Tang literature in the term, Kungalun is not a Chinese one. We may take for granted that the translation of the foreign name. The following passages occur in Book 2 of Chung Yu Ping's and Chan Tung Tao Notes of Ping Chu. Many wealthy people of Kenan keep Kunu, devil slaves. They are endowed with practical strength and can carry burdens several times of hundred caddies. Their language and taste is different from ours, but they are docile and do not run away. They are spoken to as Jing Jing, savages. Their skin is inky black, their lips are red, their teeth is white, and their hair is woolly and tiny. They are both sexes. The native hunt in the mountains beyond the sea. They will eat raw food. After being captured, they are fed on cooked food, which gives them diarrhea. While in this condition, they are said to be renewing their inside entrails, and some of them die in the process. In the book... Xing Shi, the dynasty historic of Shang, where it speaks of Arabia. We read in the second year of the Ting Ping in Kao Nu, i.e. AD 977, Arabia sent an ambassador to Pung Sing Na, the vice ambassador of Mumu Muhammad, and a judge Pulu Lo with the products of his country as present. Their attendants had sunken eyes and black skin, and they were called the Kulunu Nu. Having a, a signification of the term Kulunu, we must determine the land of their origin or the race they belong to. We may dismiss without further ado the suggestion that Kulunus were native of Arabia. The whole Kling in the Kantun, the geography of the land of Hokaling, contained in the book of Hashim, the new dynasty of the Tang, says, In the eighth year, Yin Ho period, AD 813, the land of Hokaling represented a shivling Qing slaves. The book three of, of the Ching Wing Ling La notes of the, the land beyond the mountains. There is found a section that deals with a land named Kundalun and Ching Chi. And here, among other things, it says many dwell on the islands. Many savages dwell on the islands. They have lacquer being used as bait and are being captured by the thousand, using food being used as bait and subsequently sold into slavery. The first part of challenging the information about the barbarians, there is one section that treats various lands beyond the sea, which says, among other things, the land of the Kundalun, Tang Shi, is situated on a southwestern sea between the large chunk of islands. So this land to be found gigantic, the northern birds, whose wings outstretch the sunken sun and turn night into day. They prey upon wild camels, which they swallow in a single goat, and feathers, which they are sure in the cutting the sections of the watercraft of the product of the land consisting of elephant trunks and rhino horns. 
to the west, there's an island of people with savages whose complexion is black like lacquer and trestles resemble tattling tadpoles. They must be captured using food as bait and sold at great profit to the Arabs as slaves. The Arabs entrust them with the keys, knowing they'll be faithful because they have no kilt or kin. From the last two quotations obtained from the information regarding the place from which the Arabs got their slaves, the Chinching and, and the Taishin are identical of the Zen of the Kamos and the, and the Tapiapa of Christianity. On the maps of the geographical works of the present day, is designated as Zanzibar. Marco Polo in Book 3, Chapter 3, and his travels called the locality of Zanzibar, which means being interpreted the region of the blacks. The Arabs gave the name Zanzibar to the east, the portion of East Africa that stretches to the Jubu River and to the Cape Diado, 11 degrees south of the equator. According to Abu Feta, the King Zini, residing in the Mazabasa, and the plans of modern Europeans, the name Zanzibar had been rejected to a small island. In Book 3, Chapter 33 of Marco Polo Travels, he speaks of the land of Madagascar as we have the following passage. In this island beyond it called Zanzibar, about we should tell you afterwards, there are more elephants than any country in the world. The amount of traffic in elephants even these two islands is something astonishing. Further on we read, tis that it said that all the other islands to the south, which the ships are unable to visit because of strong currents prevent their return, is found on the bird, a graphon, which appears in certain seasons. The description of it is given is entirely different from our stories and pictures we make of it. For the person who has been there and seen it, told Monsieur Marco Polo that it was for all the world like an eagle, one indeed in northern size, so big in fact that its wings covered a state of 30 paces and its quills were 11 paces long and thick in proportion. The people of those islands called the bird rock and has no other name for it. I will not be the real pelagram or some manner of bird is great. But I can tell you for certain, there are no half lions, half birds, as our stories do relate. But enormous they are fashioned such as the eagle. In chapter 3, chapter 34 of the same book, we read, Zanzibar is a great and noble island, which can pass some 2,000 miles. The people are all idolaters, and the king in a language of their own, and pay tribute to nobody. They are both tall, stout, and not tall in proportion as to their stoutness. For if they were being so stout and so brawny, they be nevertheless like giants. They are tall and they will carry the will of four men to eat for five. They are all black and go stark naked. We have little covering for decency. Their hair is black as pepper and so frizzy that even with water you can't scarcely straighten out. Their mouth is so large and their noses are turned up. Their lips are so thick and their eyes are so big and bloodshot they look like devils. In fact, so hideously ugly that the world has nothing to show more horror. Elephants produced in this country has a wonderful profusion. There are lions that are black and quite different from ours. There are sheep, whether or all there is a look alike in color. Their body is white and their head is black. No other sheep is found there. And Marcos Polo's description of Madagascar and Zanzibar perfectly, agrees perfectly with Chao Tu's description of Kangaling Kunalung Tanshi. And beyond all that, the Kangaling Tanshi is a Chinese rendering of Zeni or Zeni or Zani or Zanzibar, according to Marco Polo. Region means the, means the region of blacks. Hence, we have every reason to believe that the prefix Kunalung signifies blacks, for which the Chinese rendering of the, either the Arab or the Persian. Honchu, speaking of Persians, in his various recording, quoted that saying that the Persians were one for one for the Kongolin gold. And this agrees with the Cosmos records regarding the people of Axum who go to Africa for the gold. Hence, we had the strongest reason identifying the Kongolin with Africa. The traffic of Arabs and Negro slaves in the revolt of the latter in the Eastern Caliphate. The Kongolin slaves of the Tang dynasty was imported into China by the Arabs. That employment of Negro slaves played an important part in Arab social life, which may be gathered from the famous collection of tales known as the Arabian Nights of Entertainment and his works of the Dasa Islam von Singer Sanger, page 199 to 201. C. Brock gives a detailed account of the Negro rebellion in the Eastern Caliphate. It may be summarized as follows. The wealthy Arabs of Basra employed Negro slaves in exploitation of their small neighboring salt mines. A certain Persian by the name of Ali Abin Muhammad roused these slaves to open revolt by preaching to them some doctrine of liberty, equality, and equal distribution of the wealth, and removal of all social and racial distractions, etc., etc. 
A rebellion broke out on a September 10th, A.D. 869. The rebels under the Persian direction of Ali occupied Basra and is envious in defeat of the soldiers against him by the Caliphate of Baghdad. Even the black mercenaries of the Caliphate army deserted and made common causes the rebels. The richest regions of the Caliphate include the whole valley of the Lower Tigris and the cities of Basra, Waset, and Kersinistan, and etc. were utterly devastated. The rebellion was only suppressed in A.D. 883 by Al-Mufawak, the brother of the Caliphate Al-Multan. This rebellion therefore lasted 15 years in all a period, such as long as at the Ping Rebellion and much longer those revolts at the Al-Shin and the Shimi and the Hu-Ching under the Tang Dynasty. From this fact, we might infer there were numerous of black slaves held in captivity by the Arabs. In novels written during the Tang Dynasty, there is frequent mentions of foreigners who sell Kundalun slaves. Since the Chinese and Western records mutually collaborate each other, there can be no doubt that the Kundalun were African Negroes. And by the same token, it's also evident that the Kundalun Nu were no way related to the inhabitants of the Kundalun in the Malayan Peninsula. The confusion between the two may have arisen from the fact that some Negritos whose complexion is similar to that to Negroes can be found in the Malay Islands. But these Negritos were never numerically strong and had in early times been driven by the Malays into the mountain fastness which they seldom reappeared. On the other hand, the Western record shows and made mention of the captured Negritos by the Arab slave traders. The Henshu Ching, however, specifically states in the eighth year of the Yang Hao period, AD 813, the land of, the land of Holing, i.e. Java, presented to the Chinese court four Shizin Chaves, slaves. Hence, it is possible that some of these cases, Negro slaves were imported to China by way of the South Sea Islands. In Book 33 of the Shenshu Dynasty History, History of Chen, it gives the biographies of an empress and imperial columbines. The following passage occurs. When Empress Li was still a concubine of the Emperor Hoshi Yu Wen, 8397, 797, excuse me, she used to work in the spinning department because she was tall and dark complexion. The other concubines she's called her Kunlun. From this patch, it is very clear that Negro slaves were known in China as in the early Tenshin Qin Dynasty of 317 to 419 AD. But it was not until the Tang Dynasty they were found in large numbers. All right, black people is also an ancient Chinese lore and stuff like that, but I was going to get into deep into stuff like that. But um, there's a book, I'm sorry, The Knowledge of Possessed by the Ancient Chinese of the Arabs and the Arabian Colonies and other Western countries. So, and that's a book that's, you know, written by the Chinese, it's translated to English, the knowledge possessed by the ancient Chinese of the Arabs and area countries. They have maps to these people. So, of course, they were slain, trained slaves and things of that nature. You know, it was big business. But because we're not taught to talk about the African slave trade on the east side and how things in Zanzibar was there and how they set up other slave revolts, the Zanzibar revolt and things of that nature, you know what I'm saying, and the revolt in Iraq. We're not talking, you know, we haven't been open up to the history of it, and nor do we discuss of it. Now, take a look at this and think about this when the Chinese is doing right now in Africa. They don't think too highly of it. They got a history of killing their Chinese slaves. That's why if you look at such uh, Japan anime and stuff like Pokemon and um, Dragon Ball Z, why did they face that? When you see the black characters, they face be all distorted and swollen and looking all like, damn, what the hell? You know? Because it's their code. It's how they always dealt with it. You know what I'm saying? They killed an indigenous population. That's a show that places around there was um, like Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Java, as I said, up in there before. Those are all black areas. Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Much love and hope y'all learned something on this one. Peace and y'all have a wonderful one.